Hello everyone. Welcome back for another virtual instruction on quarter 2 week 6 particularly on activity 3. I will give you similar examples on how to solve problems on circles. So guys, let's go round and round. This is a problem number 1. How long is the diameter of the circle? If a chord measures 24 centimeters and is perpendicular to a radius at a point 4 centimeters from its outer endpoint. In the figure, we have two intersecting chords, where one chord is a diameter. So we will apply the chord product theorem. Then we have this equation. The product of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the segments of the other chord. So AF times FB is equal to CF times FD. Substituting the values, we have 12 times 12 is equal to CF, which is unknown, times 4. So if a diameter or radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord. That's why AF and FB are both 12 centimeters. We simplify. 144 is equal to 4 CF. Dividing both sides by 4, line segment CF, therefore, is equal to 36. We can now find the length of the diameter. So CD is equal to CF plus FD. So CF is equal to 36 and FD is equal to 4. Line segment CD is equal to 40 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the diameter is equal to 40 centimeters. Let's also have problem number two. The angle formed by a second and a tangent that intersect in the exterior of the circle is 20 degrees and intercepts two arcs on the circle where the measure of one arc is half the other. Find the measure of each intercepted arcs. In the figure, angle C is equal to 20 degrees. So let arc LD equal to X and arc MD is equal to 1 half X. The measure of angle C is equal to 1 half the difference of its two intercepted arcs. So substituting the values, we have 20 degrees is equal to 1 half quantity X minus 1 half X. Simplify. So we have 20 degrees is equal to 1 half times quantity 1 half X. Multiplying both sides by 4, x is equal to 80 degrees. Therefore, arc LD is 80 degrees, which is one of the intercepted arcs. Let's now find the second intercepted arcs. Arc MD, which is equal to 1 half arc LD or 1 half x. Since LD is equal to 80 degrees, arc MD therefore is 40 degrees. Let's have now problem number 3. Two chords A, B, and C, D intersect each other at point O. If the lengths of the segments of one chord are x plus 2 and x plus 1, where x and x plus 4 for the other chord find the length of each chord. So in the, in the figure, we have chord AB and chord CD intersecting at point O. So we are going to use the chord product theorem. Then we have this equation. AO times BO is equal to CO times DO. Substituting the values to our equation, so we have X plus 2 times X plus 1 equal to X times X plus 4. Find the product of both sides. We have x squared plus 3x plus 2 equal to x squared plus 4x. We cancel x squared on both sides to simplify. So we have 3x plus 2 equal to 4x. x is equal to 2. Let's find the length of chord AB. Where chord AB is equal to AO plus BO. 
AO is equal to X plus 2, BO is equal to X plus 1. Substituting the value of X to our equation, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. Line segment AB is equal to 7 units. Let's also have the length of line segment CD. So CD is equal to CO plus DO, where CO is equal to X and DO is equal to X plus 4. We substitute the value of X, which is equal to 2. So 2 plus quantity 2 plus 4, line segment CD is equal to 8 units. So I have given you three similar examples for answering activity 3 on your activity sheet. I hope this will help you. Guys, kindly check, then change the given in your activity sheet. Specifically, activity 3, problem number 3, let's go round and round. Refer to the problem below. Thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.